Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here who finally knocked out this 2024 top tier one baseball break. Half case, pick your team number one. Big thanks, big, big thanks to this group for making it happen. Here, I know it's a little faded right here. I gotta maybe shake up that toner a little bit. Monday the 11th, half case one. And got a handful of people buying their team straight up, which I appreciate. Ben, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo Twins. And we pulled a lot of teams uh, for that random number block randomizer. It was a big 20-teamer. And thanks to this group who got it done. We did that randomizer in a separate video if you're looking for that. Been a little on the quiet side, I think on a holiday Monday. I think a lot of people are making their way back from out of town. So since it's been a bit of a quieter evening, guess what? The, the silver lining of that is that we can take our time with some group breaks. I know a lot of times we, we get backed up and we end up flying through all these group breaks, but I think, I think in the, on nights like this, why not take some time to enjoy, enjoy this product here, especially tier one, especially something like tier one. All right, so we got six boxes on the left side and six boxes on the right side. We'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right. We got the die rolling all the way over here. It's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we'll save for next time. So we'll put quick little X's right there on those boxes so that we know they're from the same case. And. Let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everybody. So we got two autographs, one relic card, and I think they added the base for this year, right? For 2024? So there may be some non-numbered base cards that we'll have to randomize to somebody, but I think all the hits are numbered, so for the number block group, we shouldn't run into any trouble. We'll use this uh, YouTube sticker card to slow play some of the hits. There's the base car, that's Pete Alonzo, six out of 75. So if you're not familiar with how the number block process works, we go by that digit right there, not that one, not these numbers, but that digit. So that goes to six. Met six, Stephen K. So are these relics first? We're, that's a relic. Let's do the relic first. 107 out of 199, George Springer. I don't really like the look of this tier one. And gold foil, the colors pop pretty nicely. Nice clean look, real sharp. Toronto is a random number block team, so we go by that digit. Toronto 7. It's for Kyle, last bomb mojo. So are these a patch auto? And then, yeah, I think that's an auto. Let's take a look at this. First, it's on card auto, 2 out of 49. Matt Olson. A nice green foil. And Atlanta's a random number block team. Most of these teams are going to be random number blocks. Braves 2. Atlanta 2, Stephen K. And then back here is... Ryan Samber, triple relic and autograph, 37 out of 49. Chris, Chris G picked up the Cubbies straight up. Got the away grays, the home white and pinstripes. Nice. Box one. Here is rookie Colton Kowser. 
Orioles are a random number block team. This is not numbered, so this will represent uh, the non-numbered cards. So we'll group those together as one lot and randomize it to one person in that random number block list over there. All right. Back here is Zach Geloff, 131 out of 199, piece of the jersey. Actually watching a little Moneyball. I mean, it's on commercial now, but should be hearing a little Moneyball on the background. There we go, we're back. And this is gonna go to the A's, A's random number block, so that goes to A's one. So you can see how a single number could stretches over a big group of breaks, or teams. So that's the advantage of the random number block. Greg has number one. These should be your autos. We have 62 out of 249, Spencer Sear. Cincinnati Reds, Ryan Hines picked up the Reds straight up. There you go, Ryan, nice on-card autograph. Breakout autograph card. And it's a Jersey Auto. It's Dustin Pedroia, Laser Show. 27 out of 49, Jersey and autograph. And that's Jeff. Jeffrey picked up the Red Sox straight up. After the stream, go go look up Dustin Pedroia Laser Show. It's a funny little press conference. And a lot of a lot of people say that Dustin Pedroia could have been what what could have been. I think a lot of people say about Dustin Pedroia if uh, if he didn't get that that injury. I think in twenty seventeen. Yeah, in 2017, Manny Machado's Oriole slid in to second base real hard. Some say it's dirty. I haven't seen the play in a while, but he got spiked in the knee uh, and then kind of jammed up his knee, which was already, I think, maybe had some cartilage issues, but jammed up that knee and I think just was really never the same again. By 2020, I think he was done after that. 14 seasons total but 17 18 19 20 there were four seasons that were, that were kind of lost but big fan favorite sometimes you get an extra extra hit in there like this one i don't know if Dustin Pedroia ever, I mean, he won an MVP. That's the crazy thing. I'm not sure what he's up to these days. I guess they live in Arizona. He went to college in Arizona. Um, I think he was originally from Southern California. Let's take a quick look at the baseball reference page. Yeah, I, don't, I wonder. I don't know. I mean, he hit a lifetime 299. He was never a big home run hitter, only 140 home runs, 138 stolen bases. But he had a lifetime 805 OPS. That's pretty strong. He averaged about almost 200 hits a season. If it wasn't for the knee thing, I wonder if he would have been close to, if he would have gotten close to 3,000 hits. If there was maybe a Hall of Fame possibility there. All right, we've got Sal Freelich, Tier 1 Relic. 73 out of 199. Brew Crew, Alan Murdoch picked up the Brewer straight up. Top Certified Relics die cut card. Oh, here is the uh, base. It's also part of the non-numbered group. We got a dual relic, Gary Sheffield, 51 out of 99. Braves edition. Gary Sheffield, another dude, 
is he not a Hall of Famer? Is it because of not a lot of guys with 509 home runs, a 292 uh, batting average, and 900 lifetime OPS that's not in the Hall of Fame? Does he get dinged for uh, for the steroids here? But he's actually... I don't know how many years of eligibility he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty twenty four was was last year. I think last year actually was his final year on the ballot, and he got to like sixty three percent. I'm sure the like the veterans committee will will put him in at some point. But their chef, that's uh, Braves Gary Sheffield. Atlanta won for Greg. All right, and we got Justin Morneau, 36 out of 75. That's for Ben and the Twins. Last spot, Mojo. Ben got the Twins before they were pulled for all those random number blocks. 70% of the time, last ball mojo hits 100% of the time. And then we've got a Pudge, Ivan Rodriguez. 38 out of 99. Ivan? Ivan Rodriguez? Pudge. That'll be for the Rangers. Rangers are in the random number block group. And that is Texas 8. Greg, number eight. All right, halfway through this break, taking her time with this one tonight. We got more in the store, folks. Just want to get after it. We got Estuary Ruiz, 28 out of 125. Oakland, 8 for Greg. Here is Josh Donaldson, 114 out of 199, Yankees edition. Piece of the jersey going to Michael, who picked up the Yankees straight up. We got Cedric Mullins. That's uh, 93 out of 199. Piece of the jersey and autograph. So that'll be for Baltimore 3. That's for Kyle. Last spot mojo. And nice Junior Caminero rookie autograph. 104 out of 299. Highly touted prospect. I mean, I don't know if he still has rookie eligibility for next year, but definitely someone to look out for. A lot of power. So that goes to Tampa Bay 4. And that's for Kyle Harper. Nice one, Kyle. If you're wondering why the Rays are, are a little bit pricier than some other teams in 2024, that guy's it. I think the Rays kept him in the minors for a good part of this season just to... I think there were actually a couple injuries that, that got in the way. I, saw, I don't think they wanted to or had any need to really rush him or anything like that. So it might end, end up being a good thing in the long run. Do we have an extra hit? I think we have one, two, three, four hits in here. Here's Shota Imanaga. 99 out of 125. Chris with the Cubs. Let's 
see what the Cubs do in the off season. I would say the Cubs are probably what third favorite to land Roki Sasaki once he officially posts. Here is a Raphael Devers relic, 143 out of 149. Jeffrey with the Red Sox. All right, so what do we got here? The one on the bottom is a Ronnie Maurizio rookie auto, 22 out of 25 for the Mets. A random number block team, so that's going to go to New York Mets 2. Stephen K, number 2. Auto variation. And we got Yandy Diaz, Tampa Bay Rays, Jersey and Auto, 142 out of 149. Tampa 2. Stephen K. Looks good. Jersey fuzz right on there. Shop a more convenient IKEA with click and collect affordable. And delivery. one more here. This is whoa! Ellie Dela Cruz. Red ink autograph. Red foil seven out of ten. Ryan Hines picked up the Cincinnati Red straight up. I know this, this took a little a little bit, you know, I think it, it took a little bit to uh, to fill up this break, but your patience rewarded, Ryan. Congrats. That is awesome. And I, I hope he keeps hitting. That'd be good for the hobby. All right, final box. Second half in the store, jaskyscasebreaks.com. Rex really think he would go to a team with another Japanese player. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. How much I mean, how much does he want to be with his countrymen? How much does he want to forge his own path? You know? In the end, because of the, because he's posting so early, you know, the maximum contract he can get, I think is fixed. Right? Like when Otani came out so every team has a, a legit shot at him. You know, so now it just comes down to where does he want to go? What is what is his reasons for it? Does he want to play with his countrymen? Does he want to play with his, you know, his, uh, his hero, Yu Darvish, whom he has a relationship with? And, and, you know, he patterns his slider, I think, off of Yu Darvish's slider, you know. San Diego does well with the Japanese players. The Dodgers have been scouting him since high school, you know. So they they've been doing doing their due diligence. Who knows? There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Part of the non-numbered base card. I think it's just those three cars back there. We've got a Derek Jeter relic, 44 out of 199. Piece of the pinstripe in there as well. It'll be for Michael and the Yankees. But I think that'll... that'll that, Sasaki and Juan Soto will be the two very interesting... will be the very interesting storylines throughout the uh, throughout the off season. We've got Shea Langliers, 21 out of 49. That's going to go to the A's random number block. Oakland 1. It's for Greg. Here is Josh Young, 20 out of 25. Nice little uh, little color match there. I dig that. The blue foil with their powder blue jerseys. That's going to be for the Rangers random number block team. So that goes to Texas Zero. Kyle with number zero. Nice. 
And the last one here in half case, pick your team one is Bernie Williams for the Yankees. 32 out of 199, old school Yankee going to Michael. Picked up the Yankees straight up, which we appreciate. Thank you. And there you have it, boys and girls. Nice little break from jazbeescasebreaks.com, 2024 Tier 1. Second half in the store. Uh, by the time you see this, it might be in a random number block already, so join in on that. Thanks very much, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.